हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ कॉपी कंस्ट्रक्टर इन सी प्लस प्लस कॉपी कंस्ट्रक्टर आर द मेंबर फंक्शन ऑफ अ क्लास दैट इनिशियलाइज द डेटा मेंबर ऑफ द क्लास यूजिंग अनदर ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द सेम क्लास इट कॉपीज द वैल्यू ऑफ द डेटा वेरिएबल्स ऑफ वन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ अ क्लास टू द डेटा मेंबर्स of another object of the same class a copy constructor in c++ is further categorized into two types default copy constructor and user defined copy constructor first of all what is default copy constructor when a copy constructor is not defined the c++ compiler automatically supplies with its self generated constructor that copies the value of the object to the new object let's see the example of default copy constructor first of all we have a class a and class having two private data member x and y and one parameterized constructor is there constructor name is always same as the name of the class and parameterized constructor takes arguments with parameterized constructor initialize the member of the class x is equal to x1 and y is equal to y1 then class having two normal member functions int get x get x function return the value of x and get y function return the value of y class body end with the closing curly braces in this case no copy constructor is defined the c++ compiler automatically supply with its self generated constructor that copies the value of the object to the new object now inside the main function we have to create the object of class a is the name of the class and obj1 is the name of the object now when the object of class is created constructor called automatically there is no need to call constructor and value 12 is copied into x1 and value 14 is copied into y1 and the value of x is 12 and value of y is 14 then after that create another object a obj2 a is the name of the class and obj2 is the name of the object and obj2 is equal to obj1 default copy constructor called copy the content of object 1 into object 2 then after that we have to call the normal member function of the class now ob2 dot get x then ob2 dot get y get x function return the value of x and get y function return the value of y a obj2 is equal to obj1 this is the default copy constructor default copy constructor copy the content of obj1 into obj2 now obj2 behave like as obj1 now run this code after the execution of this code the output is 12 and 14 get x function return the value of x and get y function return the value of y in this code there is a default copy constructor next is user defined copy constructor in case of user defined copy constructor the values of the parameterized object of a class are copied to the member variables of the newly created class object the initialization or copying of the values to the member variable is done as per the definition of the copy constructor let's see the example of user defined copy constructor we have a class a and class having one private data member x 
and one public parameterized constructor is there constructor name is always same as the name of the class parameterized constructor takes parameters the value of x is x1 then after that class having one user defined copy constructor copy constructor name is also same as the name of the class a is the name of the class then passing object of class type a is the name of the class ampersand obj obj is the name of the object there is a important point the parameter of user defined copy constructor has the address of an object of a class now the value of x is x is equal to obj dot x assign the value of the variables of obj object to the corresponding variables of the object calling the copy constructor this is how the contents of the objects are copied then after that define the normal member function of the class int get x that return the value of x then class body end with the closing curly braces and semicolon now inside the main function we have to create the object of the class a is the name of the class and a1 is the name of the object when the object of class is created constructor called automatically there is no need to call constructor function first of all parameterize constructor called automatically value 12 is copied into x1 and the value of x is 12 after that we have to call the copy constructor how to call the copy constructor a is the name of the class a2 is the name of the object and passing a1 object as a argument inside the main function we have created two object a1 and a2 and then copy the content of a1 to a2 we can also write a a2 is equal to a1 here the object a2 calls its copy constructor by passing the address of the a1 object as its argument that is ampersand obj is equal to ampersand a1 now after that we have to call the normal member function of the class how to call normal member function of the class object name dot operator then name of the normal member function of the class now run this code after the execution of this code the output is 12 inside the main function when the object of class is created parameterized constructor called automatically value 12 is copied into x1 and then value of x is 12 then after that call the copy constructor a a2 and passing object as a argument this is all about copy constructor in c++ <music>